You want a treat? Greetings everybody out there in YouTube land. This is Brendan, John from Arkansas's Mentor. And if you know anything at all about John, you know how tough a job that is. But I digress. Welcome to part three of Buzz 1151's 1948 Halicrafters Model T-54 television restoration. When last we left, Old Buzz had somehow gotten the TV to actually work, which in itself is a frigging miracle. If you get my drift, the picture Buzz was getting on the TV set was very dark. So let's continue this saga and see if anything can be done to brighten it up. Now, if only something could be done to brighten up Old Buzz. On with the show. <laughs> So let's get started by bringing out the crab. Okay, after contacting Brendan, he suggests I do this uh, high voltage oscillator adjustment. It may uh, make the screen a little bit brighter. We want to check the microamps What's that? on the high voltage. So what I got here is a set of five 10 meg ohms resistors, hook them up in series. Uh -oh, what did he say? Stick one end here. Would you mind filling me in here? I'm a little confused. And hook up my meter to measure the, uh, the microamps in series. So I'll hook up the negative here. What's going on here? And a positive at this end. So that's all in series here with the meter. Let's, uh, let's turn it on and see what we get here. Okay, let's uh, bring it up again. This way I can uh, adjust the, uh, the trimmer. Try to get 100 microamps. Go home. You're in over your head. Let's put this up to 120. Look, I don't know why you're here, but I really think you're over your head. 87.8. Let me uh, try to adjust it. You should be careful. That's going down. Let's go back the other way. Hey, 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 be careful! Be careful! If I go too far, it starts to go down again. Electricity is like a caged animal. It's 90. Looks like that's about all I'm going to get out of it. Looks like that's all she wrote. So I'm uh, 10 under. But it's pretty close. So I guess I'm happy with that. Okay, uh, you all know Brendan, right? And he's a self-proclaimed genius. I am a super genius. And I have to agree, he is a genius. And he likes to help out us YouTube guys when we're stuck or need help. And I need help all the time, so I'm always emailing him, asking for suggestions. Anyway, a year ago, he sent me this uh, B&K CRT tester. Thank you kindly. And uh, he suggested that I try to use this to test my uh, my tube. Now this won't test the uh, 7JP4 tube that I've got because it uses the uh, different pinouts on it. So Brendan suggested that old Buzz make an adapter and I've made an adapter. See my handiwork here? I use nails and uh, alligator clips. Oh brother! So I've got my adapter hooked up to the pins here and they're going to the proper pins on this tube. Why are you acting like this? So what we're going to do first here is turn this on to where it says good. The filament should come on here. 
G1 and G2 should come on. Let me just let this set here. We'll come back in about a half hour. Okay, that's been setting there for half an hour. Let me turn the light off. That one G2 light here is dimly lit. So because those lights aren't lighting up, it's not gonna produce a bright picture, and we already know that. This tester is also a rejuvenator. Watch your language. Whereas you can set it and then uh, zap the filament. I think you've seen videos of that. Before we do that, he said to try uh, one of these other settings here. And don't screw it up, jerk. Put this on DYN medium and let it set for about an hour. This increases the voltage to the filaments and sometimes that might clean it up. So let's do that. The uh, filament should uh, be a lot brighter and it is. Okay, there's a shot of the uh, filament glowing. We'll just leave this set and come back to it after a while. He said after an hour, we can put it back into the TV set and uh, see if it's any brighter. I have my doubts. I think we're gonna have to blast it. Fire in the hole. Okie dokie, here we go. I'm just gonna turn it on. It's been cooking for over an hour. So let's just uh, see what happens here. Let's turn it on. Let's see if it's any brighter. Well, I would say it's a little bit brighter. That's, I've got the light on here. Let me turn the light off. And there's the light on. So, that looks promising. I wonder what would happen if we zapped it. Well, last night I left this on three or four hours and it seems to have gotten darker. So, the option of uh, zapping this is now a viable option. Now, I talked to Brendan and he said it's up to me. He doesn't want to get blamed, I think, uh, if I wreck it. <laughs> Maybe you should let Dickel try and fix it. So I'm going to have to think about this. To zap or not to zap? That is the question. You know, I think I'll take a long nap and think about it. That yellow bellied buzz doesn't have the balls to zap that tube. So it's up to me, Dickle F. Lockett, to do the deed. If it works, Buzz will be so happy he will shower me with whiskey and zero bars. There's the neck of the tube. I'm gonna get a shot of this when I zap it here. Let me set the rejuvenator to Dine Med. So, we're supposed to see a big flash when I hit the switch. Let's turn up the light. Now this may wreck it or not. We're gonna see. Here we go. Well, it did flash. Now we'll put it into the TV and see if it works. Okay, here's the moment of truth. I'll either be a hero or a goat. <laughs> if it doesn't work, I'll just leave it as is and Buzz will never be the wiser. Here it goes. The suspense is killing me. Hey, it looks like it worked. That is brighter. <laughs> yeah, right. You know, I think I'll put it on the highest setting. And zap it again! Now this setting is a last ditch effort to save the tube. Okay, here we go. What do we got to lose? I'll stick it all the way up to dine high. 
Whoa, the filament's really glowing. <laughs> Let's blow this sucker up. Let me hit the switch here. A one and a two and a... Oh. Well, let's stick it back in the TV and test it. Well, there it is. It's hard to tell if it's any brighter. Let me turn the light out and see what it looks like. Looks like the only way to watch this TV is with all the lights out. Damn, I thought I'd be a hero. There goes my whiskey. Uh-oh, I hear Buzz getting up from his nap. I better get out of Dodge. Buzz, zap it, zap it. Man, oh man, what a nightmare of a dream I had. In the dream, I decided to zap the picture tube. And when I pressed the button, the tube filament blew. Holy smoke, it was terrible. Now I didn't even have a picture tube. Can you believe that? So I decided not to zap it. I guess I just don't have the guts. <laughs> What's so funny, Dickle? Never mind. Anyway, it's better to be safe than sorry, right? So, here's my plan B. Now I bought this on eBay, and here it is. <coughs> Do you know what that is, folks? No. It's a picture tube brightener. No shit, Sherlock! I paid uh, like $7.95 for this on eBay. Be a wonderful bargain. It's called an Anchor Picture Tube Brightener, model EC78. And this is for series strung sets, which the Helicrafters is a series strung set. That's a tongue twister. Series strung set. Rubber baby buggy bumpers. So uh, it's made by Etronic Corporation in Chicago. I like them French fried potatoes. Mm -hmm. Gives you some instructions here. Uh, we're not gonna just plug this in because it's not gonna fit. What a catastrophe! Here's the different models they had. I can't read or write. I admit it. Here's the EC78. It's a series brightener. Cool. That's what it looks like. Let's just open the box and take a look at it. Open it up now. Please hurry up. It's new old stock. Why, it's beautiful. What is it, Mr. Whoopi? What, what, what? What is this, this doohickey? Now this works with a uh, transformer inside it. So we need to take this apart and see, uh, see what it looks like. <coughs> so there's the transformer. I've never looked at one of these before. If you're gonna install this on a TV, this part would go on the end of the tube and the socket that was at the end of the tube would unplug and plug onto here. Oh, I see. On this particular socket, we got pins 1 and 12 hooked up on either side of the transformer. And then on one side of the transformer, we got this brown wire, which is pin 1. This looks complicated. So it's going through here and boosting up the voltage, probably a couple volts. We'll check it. We'll check it before and after. This looks pretty straightforward. I can probably just hook this up with alligator clips to the TV and see if it does anything. And it may brighten it up. Then again, it may not. What we got to lose? Absolutely nothing. 
the screen is pretty much unwatchable now. So if it works, it works. If it doesn't, go to plan C, whatever that is. So let's see if we can hook this sucker up with some alligator clips and turn the TV on and see what we get. I'm excited. You don't see this every day. Oh, how very thrilling. Before I hook this up to the TV, let's just measure the, uh, the ohms on the transformer. Okay. So, I just want pins 12 and pins 1. Gentlemen, this is a test. Got about 5.2 or 3 ohms on that little transformer. Welcome to another edition of Experimenting with Buzz. Now before we test this TV with the brightener on it, I thought I'd just uh, turn it on and check the voltage and see how much is going into the tube. So let's just do that. Now this tube, uh, the specs on it is supposed to run at 6.3 volts. Turn that sound down. So we got about 6.4, which is right on the specs. There it goes down to three. Let's see if we get a picture of this. Seems like the screen has gotten uh, progressively worse. Okay, so now that we know. It's running 6.2, 6.3. I'm going to hook up the brightener. And I put it back together. We don't need it, all that stuff hanging out. I just need to gator wire the pins on 1 and 12 here to uh, 1 and 14 on this tube. Here are pins 1. And 14 that goes through the uh, tube. I just cut the wires here so I need to hook this up for pin 1 here. We'll go to pin 1. Pin 14 will go to pin 12 on here. So it goes through here, travels through the transformer, comes out here. So let's hook up there's pin 1, pin 12. Pin 12 here will go to pin 14. Oops. And pin 1 will go to pin 1 here. And we can measure the voltage off here. Let's put this. Over here can we can see it. Take a reading off here and here. All right. Now we'll just see uh, if there's any difference in the voltages. We should get more voltage out of here. Uh, I don't know how much it's going to be because I've never used one of these. So let's just see what happens here. Let me turn it on here. Oh, I'm so excited! Starts out with 8 volts. And we got 7.8. Just see if it settles down. Remember before it was about 6.3 or 4. So it boosted up uh, 1.3 volts. It's not as much as I thought. I thought it might boost it up a couple, but so 7.7 .7 volts. Let's turn this around and see what this sucker looks like. All right, here's the moment of truth. Let's see if this makes any difference. We'll see what the voltage is here to make sure it's working. We'll just turn it on. Here it goes. At 7.7. .7. Let's 
Turn that off. Well, it does look brighter. Where have I heard that before? You gotta do better than that. I guess you could call this a success. But I think this tube is just worn out. It's been on about an hour and doesn't look like it's changed. That's with the light on. Let's turn the light out. Let's just do a side by side comparison now. I'll hook it up back to the 6.5 volts and see if there's any difference there. So take a good gander at this. So the next time you'll see it, it'll be down to 6.5 volts instead of the 7.8 it is now. Okay, this is without the brightener. Let's just cycle back and forth and see if we can see any difference. Without brightener, with brightener. Without brightener, with brightener. Without brightener. With brightener. So we can see the difference. Plain as day. It brightened it up. But doesn't look like it was enough. Poor old tube. I think it's on its last legs. So. That brings a close to this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. This is Buzz1151. Signing off. If I don't come back, call me up on the Ouija board.